Bam Bam, guys, you won't believe what I got in my hand. That's right. This beautiful Xbox 360 controller that came from Hyperkin. Hyperkin just did it again. They officially got certified when it came to the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. When it came boxed, it comes with these little cushioned marks on top of this controller. And on top of it, it comes with a nice USB-A to USB-C cable here. And it is about 10 feet. So it does have some length to it. Also, it just connects onto the top of it, almost like a modern controller. When you look at a Xbox Series X controller or Xbox One controller. But the issue is that it isn't going to be wireless. It is not a wireless controller, so you can get that out of your head. Unfortunately, it's not because of Microsoft's wireless certifications. Again, this is on Microsoft's fault, so Hyperkin could not do anything about it currently. But you're probably curious about how well this Xbox 360 controller performs because it is just magnificent. When you take a look at this controller, the joysticks are kind of a plastic feeling. It doesn't really have a rubberized grip. It almost feels like a cheaper joystick when you are using it. They're not Hall Effect joysticks. They are just typical analog joysticks that are on this controller. Now, when you are using the buttons on this controller, when you use A, B, X, and Y, it feels just like using the Xbox 360 controller. The travel feels exactly the same, and I'm not kidding. The travel just feels just like how it would on the original Xbox 360 controller. Just pressing it just gives me memories of just playing games such as Gears of War. Modern Warfare 3 would even feel like a throwback when playing on this controller. Typical left bumper, right bumper, it feels exactly the same. It's very clicky. And the triggers feel exactly the same, very soft and you almost forget how the feeling is until you get your hands on it. And there is quite a little bit of resistance on it. It's probably like about like two pounds of resistance on the trigger, but it feels just like the original controller. The only difference between the original Xbox 360 controller, it does not have that weird backing on the back of it. And it doesn't have that bump just like what the wireless Xbox 360 controllers have. It doesn't really take away from it. It has a nice feeling when you are gripping on it, and it really does feel like you're holding a Xbox 360 controller in your hands. Now, on the front of it, they did modernize it slightly. So what, how they modernized it is they added the share button, they added the menu button, and they also added a capture button. Now, when you are activating this Xbox 360 controller, you know it's on because it has a white light on there. So when you hook it up through your USB, you can see that it lights up nicely and the PC automatically recognizes it. So for you guys out there who have a Xbox Series X or a Xbox Series S, if you guys out there with the Xbox 360 still has it and you're wondering if this controller still has compatibility with the original Xbox 360, unfortunately it does not. But it does have compatibility when it comes to the Xbox One or Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X. So you can use it for those consoles and it works perfectly fine and it feels just like a official controller because again, even Microsoft backs Hyperkin's Xbox 360 controller. If you want to throw back some great games and some great memories, Hyperkin's Xbox 360 controller is really awesome in that way. As soon as you plug it into Windows, there is not any extra accessories or anything extra you really have to install with this controller. There is no extra software. It is just strictly plug and play. So all you have to do is hook up this wire to the Xbox 360 controller that Hyperkin has made so phenomenally that once you hook it up to your PC, it is automatically recognized without issue. So you can go straight to your games and play as much as you want. So it's a lot of fun playing on Hyperkin's controller and I do have it down in the description box down below if you're interested in it. The only thing I gotta say, uh, the sticks do feel a little bit taller as well and it had this weird pop once i took off this foam that it came with because it really doesn't come with a lot but it does come with like this foam pad around the joysticks and it kind of clicked into place 
almost like it was out of place when it came shipped to me. Which is a little bit worrisome after playing with this Xbox 360 controller a little bit longer then I can give it more of a thorough review. But if you're interested in a retro Xbox 360 controller, it is here. And it is absolutely a lot of fun to use, especially when you are playing games such as Batman or Arkham Asylum. And it just gives you just so much memories on that side. And hopefully you found this video very useful, especially that you found that new Xbox 360 controllers can exist. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now, anybody else who loves retro controllers, such as the Xbox 360, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if not part of the big one of fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. For all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan Man guys, what are your thoughts of Hyperkin's Xbox 360 controller? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo.